I am Lonely Wolf, and this is the Long Dark Winter Mute. We're gonna be jumping right back in where we left off last time. Freezing our tails off inside this trailer that we barely managed to get into because of Mr. Wolfie chasing us. I want you want to bet there's something hiding behind there. Ah, man, it's not one. I don't want to spend the time for that. So we're going to search this place, see if we can find anything. We're going to warm up. Let's take our freezing clothes off first. Yeah, uh, this is a big problem. <laughs> it's not offering us any protection. It's just going to get us frostbite. Um, so let's just get rid of these for a moment. This guy. This sucks. This sucks. Wool sucks. Alright, um. Is there anything good in here? Some water. Cargo pants. I feel like, um, compared to what I'm used to, I don't need that jerry can. Um. Because I typically play Stalker in Survivor mode. I feel like compared to Stalker, um, I really like how the items now actually take the active light source into consideration now too. Um, actually, can we even sleep in here? Could if we wanted to. Oh, I hit 66%. Holy cow. Alright, um... It's only 32 in here. We could sleep for what, one hour? Let's drink first. I, need smell right. of the hypothermia when you can. I feel like... I feel like compared to uh, Stalker, this story mode here seems to be throwing some items at you. Um, more so than what I would consider... I would consider this almost Voyager levels of food being thrown my way. Um, to be honest with you, I haven't played Voyager in forever, so I don't know what the tunings have ended up like over there. Uh, I know Stalker's still... Yeah, see, these are actually unfreezing. I don't know how long it's going to take. I'd like to repair that. I have the cloth, too, and a sewing kit. Um, I, I really don't know how Story Mode's going to go out so far. Um, it seems right now that it's kind of like just fetch quests right now. Like, we crashed, you know, or get some wood. You know, it was, felt almost like a tutorial for the first, first four days, introducing you to um, the elements you're going to need to be concerned with, such as cold, food, water, and injuries, things like that. Felt like that's pretty much what the first couple of days were, just treating you to a round of that. I don't know how the rest of the story is going to go. Um, I, ha I have been off the forums. I haven't been reading anything. So I, I really don't know what we're going to be looking at here. I really don't know what I'm carrying that's weighing me down so much. Reclaim wood, that's only 5 pounds. 16 pounds total in here. 5, 3, 8, 4, 16. Okay, so yeah, it's in the wood department. It, like, look at this. This is all wood matches. In stalker mode, I'd maybe go through these two boxes in a um, hundred days. Because uh, at some point, I would have found the magnifying glass and would have been rationing my matches. Plus, I'd be using cardboard matches and not wood matches. So these guys are all still jacked up. Let's sleep for one more hour. I may just start a fire. Um, to get these cleared up. So I've got some pants. Let's wear. Ah, I've got a clothing screen. I'm so used to the older versions. <laughs> so we've got some cargo pants. Got that, which is incredibly wet and frozen. So I feel like the best thing to do here would be to start a fire. 
depending on what the temperature's like right here. I think I left a car behind back there that I didn't search yet. I really don't know how far up the town is from where I am. Um, it's still just a snowstorm. I thought it was going to blizzard when I saw the weather. I'm so used to stalker where if the weather gets bad. It just, it goes nuts on you. So there's some deer in this area if I get a rifle or a bow. I'd prefer a bow. Because I feel like, I feel like we're going to be hunting. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be survival mode. Um, but just with uh, objectives added. So, you know, everything that they've been, you know, testing. Because Sandbox was never really meant at this outset to become what it did. Um... And so I'm kind of expecting... Uh, you know, the different things they've implemented in the sandbox to become, you know, the driving force in here. So, you know, they were testing, you know, different mechanics of the game, such as food, water, that sort of thing. Um, and, you know, it turned out really nice, and then they were like, hey, yeah, let's, let's get to work on story mode. And then they were like, well... This is actually taking longer than we thought, so we kind of had a tentative release date for the end of 20... Was it end of 2014 or beginning of 2015? I forget. But it wasn't really like... Hold on. I thought I heard a build and groan. It wasn't like formally announced. Or like dedicated like, yes, this is the time it will be launched. And it was like, okay, we're thinking about a launch date here. And then it kind of ended up not happening. And then we got the official launch date. Did I get turned around? I don't think so. Is there a secondary bridge down here? Damn. I'm freezing. I heard a wolf over there, I think. Oh look! There's a building here. Sounds like I heard a wolf eating. Um I don't know, yeah, we're gonna launch it spring Oh, I did hear a wolf. My goodness, these these wolves like I should be dead by now from this wolf. Or any of the wolves I've encountered so far. Simply because, like, they don't seem that aggressive. They get upset with you. That's about it. Anyway. So, you know, then they were like, oh yeah, we're going to be launching story mode. End of 2016. And then they came out and were like, all it is really is just 2D cutscenes. And, you know, you, you run around, but every interaction you get with an NPC, stuff like that, is just... Oh look, that's the town down there. If I feel like heading there, I could. Um, we're just gonna ignore this wolf and get in the church. Ah! Maybe not! I might be dying here. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> oh boy. I should have really looked out that door. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I don't have blood loss. I don't know what was telling me that. I guess it was from the wolf attack is what it was thinking. Alright, so... Let's time now that we know what's up. I'm gonna avoid Mr. Wolfie. Yeah, I'm at half condition. Um... I guess I just didn't click fast enough. I was reading that consistent clicks is better than fast clicks, but I don't think that's the case. So again, yeah, we had that tentative release date for um, spring 2016. Yeah, I'm not coming to fruition. And so now we have story mode finally here. I didn't buy the game for story mode. I bought it for survivor mode. Um, when I saw it, because I saw it, okay, this is early access. You know, who knows what happens with early access games. But at the time I saw it, you know, the graphics were fleshed out enough. I really loved the art style. Um, you know, everything was exactly how I thought it should be for what I wanted. And story mode would be icing on the cake. So, what I expected when I was hearing about story mode is I was thinking, alright, so we've got some, you know, seasoned devs coming here from, like, you know, 
big projects from like I think it was Keep Xbox and things like that. You know, decent decent sized projects. Alright, we're gonna be avoiding Mr. Wolfie this time around. Yeah, see he's eating a deer over there. I think that's what got him upset last time as he felt I was encroaching. And so, I, I really don't know what it's going to be. Is it just going to be an overglorified set of fetch quests and interactions with NPCs? Because that seems to have become like the industry it norm. Like it could be a good shelter. Uh, but it seems like that's kind of become like the industry norm is, uh, you know, oh look, a bed, sweet. Can't quite grab that from here. Due to lack of activity. The escape only. Just <laughs> uh. an empty cup. Can't move that cardboard box I'd like to. Anyway, so I feel like that's kind of become like the industry standard is just fetch quests. You go and... You talk to person A and they need item B and so you go and you do that and it doesn't feel particularly it doesn't feel particularly engaging actually it's still cold in here so let's head into Milton honestly if we can find a warmer spot um, it doesn't feel particularly engaging I mean I understand you know you've got to give the players something to do something to take care of but I feel like it's kind of getting more to a point where it feels shoehorned in and whatnot. So I don't know if that's going to be the case with this. Um, or what story mode is going to offer so far. No, okay, we... How many stinking wolves am I going to have to deal with here? My goodness, guys. Leave me alone. I'm going to have to start a fire. Alright. Oh, hymnal. Thais Ire. Nope, oh, I already read you. So I don't know if it's going to be an or over glorified series of uh, fetch quests. Here's a tip for you. Um, I know while we were in the ravine, our fires lit for us perfectly. But here's a tip for you survivors if you didn't know about it. Start a torch first. Click on your campfire. See, you got your torch, you got your cattail head. Um, oh, wow, they've actually changed the chances. A little bit. It used to be you got a bigger benefit from a torch than you did matches. But anyway, um, even if you don't get the fire started on the first try, you've only used one match. And if your torch lasts long enough, you can just uh, try again until you get your fire skill up. And that way you're not using matches over and over and over again. So yeah, I'm kind of interested to see what route the devs have taken um, with story mode here to see... Alright. Are we gonna, you know, go the route of what seems to be kind of standard? You know, we just get a bunch of fetch quests. I mean, I, I really couldn't tell you. Kind of interested to see. I, 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 I've kind of, you know, fiddled around myself um, with game dev before. 
Um, nothing serious. Uh, of course, I've only working with 2D art and all that kind of stuff. So I really didn't have much of a opportunity to work with stuff. I worked on the programs end of it. But I kind of wanted to see, you know, what I could do with it. Fiddle around, etc. So I've got two hour campfire. Let's make that six hours. I can't even sleep that long, can I? Let's make sure our clothes get unfrozen, though. Yeah, they're unfrozen now, mostly. Sweat, just wet, just wet. So these guys are the only frozen guys. They'll unfreeze fast there. Anyway. I wanted to change, you know, how the story was driven and what I was making. You know, I, I, I started with, you know, fetch quests. Oh, so you go to person A and you talk about B and you get a bit of dialogue and you get some story information. I felt like, and I feel like this would actually fit really well with the long dark, so I don't know what the devs have planned. It's a, it's a situation where you're put in a survival situation, you know, kind of like sandbox. But you have an overarching goal, and that's, alright, you need to find this kind of stuff out, but it's kind of nebula nebulous. You don't have really completion dates or times, but it's some, well, not immediate anyway, not apparent. But you just go, and you have to go and do these things, and you can sort out the goals in which order you need for yourself. You can discover the story through talking through NPCs, whatever else, you know, happens. And that way you, you would be able to get the story on your own time. And you wouldn't be bound to a bunch of overglorified fetch quests. You know, you'd be actually working on your own time frame, etc. You know. I feel like that would be, uh, wow, his respect skill is high. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Sure. I really don't feel like that's the, either of these might be worth repairing. We'll probably find something. The wool socks are certainly worth repairing, though. That also makes me mad that I failed a 95% chance on the first try, but RNG is what it is. Got Will's hat. 1.4.7. Will's hat's actually really decent. Holy cow. Um. Cargo pants I could have been wearing sooner. Kind of deciding what I want to repair here. If I'm just gonna go to sleep now after I eat. So having that kind of setup, you know, where you, you engaged with the player, but you did it in a way that you didn't feel like you were forcing the player to do a particular objective or find a particular item or anything like that. It was all about the player progressing at their own rate, on their own time, as they could. Okay, I really need to see what I'm carrying. I dumped, like, all my wood. I don't want all these rocks. Gotta be carrying something that's weighing me down. Clothing? No. Oh, the wood department. A little bit, yeah, all those books. And meds, yeah, I've got all these different antiseptics. What's meds at? No, not that bad, actually. Cloth, I still have eight cloth that's playing. I've only got one bandage. Hmm, anyway. So we've got four hours of sleep at our disposal. Because fires tend to burn longer than your sleep time. Don't know what it is about that, but just the case. Well, it sounds like it's, uh... At embers. Let's add one book so I can get a torch out of this. Alright, what's my torch at? 42 and 26. Sweet. So, we need to drink, as usual. Get on our way. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited to see how the devs have implemented how you're going to be doing it. Um, I don't know what it's going to end up looking like. I don't know if it's going to meet everyone's expectations or what. Alright, so let's see if we can't skirt these wolves here. 
He's still eating, man? How long does it take to eat a deer? I think his buddy would be helping him out. Okay, so the temperature's not too bad. Sounds like his buddy stopped eating. Nope, still eating. Okay, we're good. Hey, pal, shove off. Oh, you're going that way. Okay. Huh. Still shows the spot where I had my run in. So we're just going to have to wait and see what story's like. I, I don't know what my expectations of story were. I mean, I didn't know that Will and Astrid had the background they did. Um, I thought they would have been, like, just friends or something, or else he was, she was just his client. I mean, it's hard to say, really, what the background was there. But now we know, I guess, I guess they never really got a proper divorce or what. It, it looks like they were married, and... It's hard to say what happened in the background. I guess maybe they tried for a kid or something and something went wrong. It's kind of hard to say for certain. Anyway, so something obviously went wrong. And they went their separate ways. Who knows for how long. Will seems to be kind of attached to his past. Like his dad and his plane. Which are both apparently gone now. And Astrid seems to have gone her way, pursued a career of some sort. You know, I've never found anything in these visors. Ever. I think we're clear of the wolves. Why do I still click every time even though I see it's locked from the get-go? So I don't really know what my expectations are. I guess I'm just going to see how the story goes, whether or not... Why can't I open this trunk? I guess it crashed and it's stuck shut. I think I see a light source ahead. I like how they have the music play when it's obvious you're getting close to what could be evidence or, you know, story of some kind. Yep, there's a light on in that house. Milton. I thought I was breaking my ankle for a second there. This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Yep, yeah, can't you see the lights on up there? Doom cop. Well, let's go check this out. Now I wonder if this is the part from the trailer where you get shot at. So it'd obviously be stilling to look in there. I see that. Hello? Anybody here? Holy sh wait! Hold your fire! Come closer, stranger. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Mainlander? Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. 
I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the other cowards, so... Must be a mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. Uh, my plane, I... I crashed in the mountains nearby. <laughs> Sounds likely. Listen, could you maybe point that gun somewhere else? You think, because my eyes are covered, I can't see you? Make the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others all gone. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. Oh, sweet. We get interactions here. Cool. Um... I feel like others is the best question to ask first. They didn't actually voice act this? How hard would that have been? How much money did you have at your disposal, Hinterland? Like, you had all the actors there. This would have taken, what, just a little more time? Oh, I'm a bit disappointed in this. I thought there'd be voice acting through this whole thing. Well, so far it's been good, but this is strike one. I, I was really hoping, you know, we'd have voice acting like Skyrim through the whole thing. Gray mother. So she's some sort of like wilderness hobo? <laughs> you're ever you're supposed to be. So that's kind of disappointing, I feel like. Yeah. It's just blind reading? I mean, I'm a fan of reading, but... I feel I feel like that could have been spoon-fed through us through actual dialogue. I mean, that feels kind of rough to me. I mean, I don't know if that's going to be ironed out in Season 2, if there is Season 2, or in further episodes, if they actually add voice acting in. Maybe they add it in retrospectively, although, of course, it's kind of royally... Anger some people. Or coal, if you can find any. So she said there's a hatchet out back. How does one get out back? Am I missing a door around here? I guess I just have to go out the front door. I have to get 30 items in here. Cool. And of course I decided to pick night time to come here. So there's the work shed. Okay, so there is a back door. I just missed it. No, there's not. Okay, never mind. What 
have we here? Crybar, finally. So yeah, it feels kind of disappointing to me, honestly, that, uh... Uh, not all the dialogue is actually acted. I feel like it could have been easily. So there's a dead deer here. I don't want your meat. I'm looking for wood. There's gotta be some around here somewhere. I have to burn half this wood just to stay alive tonight. Let's head back up there. Pause on this wood, go inside and sleep if she'll let me. Can't feel my hands. I feel like that's kind of annoying though. Like, that is kind of upsetting that the dialogue is just. text. Interactions. I mean, granted, I get it's an indie studio and they've been working on this for forever, and I understand things take a lot longer than you might think to get things done, but just to get some voices recorded, I, I feel like that wouldn't take much time. I wonder if I can actually sleep in her bed up here. Or if she's got a spare bedroom. Can. Yeah, I got plenty of kills. So obviously, if I do anything up here that's in red, it's going to cause a problem. Of course, that fire is going to burn indefinitely until I actually get it filled. Seven point one. All that wood is only seven point one. What? Let's loot this gas station, see if there's anything good in here. Oh, credit union, whatever. There's a note on the door I just missed. I'm not gonna pick up the baseball cap, that's worthless. food left. It's fine though. We'll find some. No more cash. <laughs> so what, you came to the bank and pulled up? Well, no, the ATMs wouldn't have been working. Hey, that looks like an old desktop from forever ago. Yep, see more food right there. Be the key to the bank manager's house. A floppy disk in this day and age? Holy cow, what was this credit union running? But they've got a nice flat screen monitor. How odd. So everyone who fled just left sodas and granola bars and chocolate bars everywhere. Like, that just sorted my food situation for a day.
Oh, you can break brooms down? Oh, cool. Oh, it's so gross. This one doesn't have a tank, so it's obviously coming from the bowl. How nice. I've got a pry bar. I don't really need. Ooh. Combat boots. Like I said, I feel like this is almost Voyager mode easy in terms of what it's throwing at me. I'm used to Stalker, where only like every fifth container has one item in it. Could end up being. It could end up being. <laughs> Locked. Vault code. You tell me I can't just do this with the vault door. Ah, safe cracking. If only it were this easy. All these logs are really garbage tier quality if you can hear the tumbler fall just like that. Let's see if there's anything useful in here. Stack of papers, book. Cash. Useful as Tinder. That's it. I can always use more food. Well, this is lame. I need some sort of code or whatever it is to get in there. Hmm, how interesting. <laughs> I love how they actually put something up. So that was back in 2012. This is obviously not 2012 now. So our primary goal here is wood. So let's go get her some wood. I feel like I could spend three days to do that though if I felt like it. Sticks, that's going to get us next to nothing in terms of wood. So what, did she just expect to, like, die <laughs> if no one came along to cut her wood for her? There are deer everywhere. Like, look at how much food. This is like Stalker's Paradise. If, this is like Paradise times 10 for Loper players. So I need some basic wood. I don't really know what's going to give us the best benefit. Look, there's a broken up old house up here. I'm trying to find a log on the ground I can cut up. I don't really know where I am, where I'm going, what's up with what here. Did I hear Wolfie? No? Okay. I guess it's just going to be stick collecting. So I haven't even looked yet to see if these regions have been added to survivor mode yet, at all, even. Really? There's no logs over this way? Why the heck did I even come up here? Just some antibiotics, I guess. 
Don't do drugs, kids. Shrooms are bad for you. Hmm. There's gotta be some wood around here somewhere I can slice up. Oh yeah, there's down here. Sweet. I probably saw that before and just didn't realize it. See if we can find some fur. I feel like that's gonna be the highest quality. Cedar fur. There we go. How cold are we gonna get from this? Cold enough. All right. I feel like we're about to hit blizzard finally. Too heavy. Now oh, shut up about being too heavy. I guess I really need to sort my uh, wood situation or my weight situation out. Once we finally get her enough wood. I guess it was talking about hours of fire that she needs. So she needs 30 hours. It's going to be a lot of wood. Like, I'm trying to remember the last time I made a fire over 10 hours. I think it would have been when I was in a fishing hut at one point. Just trying to survive a blizzard that took like two days. Well, I just walked right up on you. You're a cutie pie. You're gonna make my job of getting wood and easier. Yeah, I'm hungry, so he's gonna want me pretty badly. I'm well rested though, so. He shouldn't be after me that bad. Post office. I wonder if there's something in there I can find of use. Come on, go away, pal. hours. Oh my goodness. It's going to take forever. Right, let's save. And I think we're going to call it here for the time being. Warm up near her fireplace consistently at 10 minutes. Ooh, I could gain trust by giving her items? So she wants rabbit pelts. That would be easy enough to get. There's rabbits everywhere. I can give her some reshies. Huh. So she's not very friendly and talkative. Anyway, let's call it here.